thank you for joining us once again for this news on African Free Press Television this evening. My name is Leo Oketa, bringing you the news updates. 18 people have been reported dead from a multiple bomb explosions in the Maturu, the Yobe State capital today. The blast went off at the Buhari housing estate, the Maturu, Yobe State. The injured have been reported to be taken to Sani Abacha Specialist Hospital for adequate medical care. Uh, the latest incident is coming less than a month after a suicide bomber detonated the bomb in the Maturu, claiming six lives and leaving for three injured. Nigeria's secret police, the State Security Service, SSS, arrested an editor of the Premium Times, Ibanga Isine, during the course of his duties. Mr. Isine, who is the newspaper's regional editor, was reporting from a federal high court in Abuja when he was arrested. He had come there for cases slated for the day, among them being the trial of Charles Oka, the alleged mastermind of the 2010 Independence Day bombing in Abuja. Meanwhile, the suspected mastermind of the October 1, 2010 bombing in Abuja, Charles Oka, caused a commotion by attempting to commit suicide during Tuesday's proceedings in his trial before a federal high court in Abuja. Oka, after ending an emotional field comment about his protracted trial during the court session, grabbed a nearby chair with which he made repeated but futile attempts to break a window in order to create an opening through which he could jump down from the courtroom located on the third floor of the five-story building. His frustration on was believed to be caused by his lawyer's absence in court. Okaui standing trial for terrorism charges arising from the October 1, 2010 bombing incident was permitted by the trial judge Justice Gabriel Kolawale to speak after it was discovered that his lawyer was not in court. Oka, in an emotional outburst, expressed frustration about his long stay in detention, which has deprived him of the opportunity to cater for his family. The acting director of Army Public Relations, Colonel Sani Usman, had said that troops of the Nigerian Army had arrested a financer of the Boko Haram insurgents in Borno State. Usman said in a statement that the man identified as Mohammed Maina was arrested in Bama with one million naira cash on him. He said that the suspect was also a supplier of cola notes and other stimulants to the insurgents. He further revealed that cola notes are in high demand among the terrorists as the product keeps them active at night. Barely two weeks after some Fulani headsmen attacked and kidnapped the former secretary to the federal government, Chief Olufalaye, some headsmen have again destroyed the same farmland. The farm manager, Bruno Akibo Demen, conducted newsmen round the farm located at Ilado in Akure North Council area of Understate. Over one kilometer plantain of maize was destroyed during the invasion at about 2 a.m. on Monday. Akibo Demen said the headsmen arrived at the farm with their cows and wrecked a havoc despite the horrible experience the workers and their boss had in the last two weeks sequel to the menace. He pointed out that efforts by the guards to prevent the destruction of the farmland were rebuffed as they were threatened by the headsmen until their cows grazed to their satisfaction. The farm manager said that the former finance minister had reported the latest destruction to the state police command for necessary action. Security agents in Zimbabwe have detained two Nigerian pastors and blocked their leader Chris Okafor from entering the country who made a false death prophecy last year on President Robert Mugabe. According to Newsday, Okafo is the leader of the Liberation City World Outreach Ministries, was reported to have said in October last year that Zimbabwe would have a president by March this year. The prophecy was said to be received with mixed feelings among friends and foes of Zimbabwe President Robert Mugabe. And that's the news for you this evening on African Free Press Television. For more stories, please do visit our website at www.africanfreepress.com, follow us on Twitter at African Free Press, and like our Facebook page at African Free Press. From me, Leo Oketa, and the whole team in the studio this evening, it's a very good evening to you. Do enjoy the rest of your night.